This presentation deals with incentives. And the meaning of incentive is inducing. Sometimes it is also called giving benefit for some act of others. It is awarding benefit for someone to act in a particular way. Now, while we are discussing incentives, let us discuss in the context of, let us say, market pro providing incentives, governments providing incentives, and incentives provided for producers, and incentives provided for consumers. Okay. Now, if you look at the diamond and water, the first example. Now, diamond has premium price, water has low price in the market. Because diamond is rare and people want to possess, water is available everywhere, although not in the same quality and therefore people don't care so there is incentive to there is incentive to produce diamond dig diamond mines and there is less incentive to dig water wells so the government interferes in this market incentive system by awarding subsidy for water suppliers, say for digging well and so on and so forth, by awarding zero tax so that they can keep all the profit they make, maybe by providing low interest loans. So all these actions of the government modifies the market incentive system to the extent that water is fully available to the entire society. So similarly, when it comes to consumption, take the example of tobacco and vaccination against malaria or any other disease. Now, in the market provides very high incentive for tobacco products and for vaccination almost zero or no incentive at all. Now the government thinks that this market incentive structure is not okay, therefore government interferes. Government imposes tax on sales of tobacco. Okay. Government also probably restricts distribution of tobacco. You cannot distribute tobacco near schools, in the airport, in the public places, in the bus depot. So therefore, it, government doesn't restrict the distribution. Government also restricts consumption of tobacco in certain places. For example, you cannot consume tobacco in, say, airports, bus depot, or on any public places, train stations, and so forth. So here again, the government is actually curbing the consumption of tobacco, thinking that it has got ill health. Now, most of the times, market incentive structures are fair and they do a better job than the government. But in some cases, market incentive structure fails to encourage something good for the society. Therefore, in such cases, government in interferes and then offers its own incentive structure to modify the market incentive structure. 